Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to learn in ABB PLC scaling function. So where we using scaling function now in analog configuration. For example, right now we are connecting a level transmitter to an PLC. So when you connect the level transmitter to the PLC, the output of the level transmitter will be what? 4 to 20 milliamps. So when you connect it to the PLC, in your PLC, it will read the value as 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So this is the resolution. That means your PLC will display in the software in terms of 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. It won't show you as 4 to 20 milliamps. So when you connect a level transmitter, the output of level transmitter will be what? 4 to 20 milliamps. So in your PLC, it will display in the term of 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So this range only we call it as PLC resolution. So as an operator, by seeing this value, we can't able to understand what it is mean by that, uh, like 12,000, 13,000, like that it displays now, we can't understand it. So right now, when I say level transmitter, I'm using the level transmitter to read the tank level. Maybe you are saying the tank level is uh, 12,000, 5,000 liters. So right now, this 0 to 5,000 liters, either I want to see in terms of 0 to 5,000 liters or maybe in terms of percentage. So for that only we are using the scaling function. So in all PLC, we have this uh, function called scaling or different name will be given. So in ABB, the scaling function, if you want to use it now, in function block, in your network, right click function block. In that, I'll just remove the structured uh, tick mark. In that, you can see this one, lin underscore traffic. So this is the scaling function. So right now when you're using the scaling function, what we have to do is uh, we have to convert your programming language into FPD. So how to convert now in ABB, whichever language you want to convert, first what you have to do is you give rebuild all. Then your main page name is what PLC underscore PRG. So I'll just right click convert object. In that I'll choose FBD language. Then open it. So now right click. You will get a box. In that box just type the name. Lin underscore traffic. So right now it's showing it. Suppose you have doubt uh, what are these pins uh, mean by now. What you can do is just select the name, give F1. You will get the help window. So in that you can see. So in now, uh, you can see the data type also. So in is what? A real. Input value and uh, input minimum maximum, output minimum maximum. And in the output side, you can see th they have given two pins. A real and then error pin. So converted value it will display in out uh, colon real. In that it will display and error. So what is mean by error now? Error occurred. If it is activated means uh, that indicate input minimum equal to input maximum or if uh, in is outside of the specified input value range. So that means right now we are setting in range. Suppose the input value is out of this range, you know, then this boolean, this indication will indicate you that are out of range. So for that only the error has been given. So right now we understood. So what we can do is in here, I can give the variable. So I'm giving the name as test. So the data type is a real. And I'm giving the address as MD 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सो राइट नाउ दिस एम डी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो आई जस्ट कॉपी इट सो दिस वन इज So right now the PLC input when we connect it in your PLC it is going to read the value in terms of zero to three two seven six seven. So in here I am giving it as PLC the variable name as PLC underscore minimum type is real and address as MD zero point four. Suppose if you have some doubt regarding the address how to give na kindly check the previous video. in that we have clearly explained how to give the address so why we are giving after md 0.0 we giving md 0.4 instead of uh, 0.1 or 0.2 so it is going to run 8 So this one level minimum. Well, So in here, out. So for out, what we have to do is so just right click. You can see a dotted square box. So select the right click, assign. So line will be added so that we can give the address. So in here, I'm giving it as level. So this will be twenty. So this one is uh, out of range. So for that only, so I'll just give that any medicine. So I'm giving memory address, not any physical output. I'm not giving. So in the hundred series, hundred uh, channel, I'm using, and. Already, you know, in A B B, whichever block you choose, always the top of the block question mark will be there. That will be what name for the block. So in A B B, it is a user defined. So whatever name you want, you can give. And the data type always it will be your block name. So simply give OK. So that's it. So now I can give build. So build means compile. Then I'll enable the simulation mode. Login. Run. So right now you can see minimum and maximum both are equal. That's why it's showing out of range. So right now I'm just giving a. Already I told you in PLC it will read the value in terms of what three two seven six seven zero two three two seven six seven, and I want to read this one in terms of liters. For example, in terms of liters, so zero to five thousand liters. So right now, I'll give Control F7. Whatever value we given, it is accepted. So now, for example, the input value I'm getting is maybe like ten uh, thousand. So for ten thousand corresponding in terms of liters, it is displaying. It is currently thousand five hundred and twenty five point nine two five liters. For example, if you say in terms of percentage, I want to see, then I can give what, hundred. So it's showing as what, thirty percent. So right now in here three to seven six seven, if you give, it will be hundred percent. Or if I give half of the value, sixteen three eight three. 
So it's showing 50%. So like this, we can do the conversion. So that as an operator, easily we can able to understand as well as we can display in the HMI. If the HMI is connected now, as an operator, they want to see as a real uh, time values. So they can use the scaling function for that. Suppose if you say, right now you know, in test what address we using now memory address so if you want to edit that one now just select that shift f2 you can edit it for example right now analog input address if you want to give now already you know in abb in this you can see on board so if you expand that one io you will have in that you can able to see they given in here in digital, uh, we have uh, eight digital input. In that, the last two is uh, configurable. Like uh, you can choose either as a digital input or analog input. So you can see in here, this one. So instead of uh, digital input, you can choose as analog. So we don't have four to 20 milliamps. We only have zero to 10. So you can choose like this, as well as the address. In IO mapping, you can see the analog input address. So the address has been given as percentage IW. 2001 so this address we have to use it but you can see that data type is what integer so in here for example the test i'm saying it as uh, percentage iw 2001 but the problem is this address belongs to data type of integer because you have seen in here clearly, they are saying it as what? Integer. So what we have to do is we have to convert integer into real because uh, in the scaling function, the IN they have given us what? Real data type. So in the help window, we have seen that. So clearly they are mentioning it is what? Real. So what we have to do? So right now we have to convert it. So if you want to convert now, so for that, what I'll do is uh, in here, I'll just uh, just cut that one in your box with the end. In this, I'll give scale. So in your assign that level we have given uh, that variable I'll mention in here. So now in here I'm going to convert. So int to real so in here you have to give test so in a real time like this only we have to develop the program you can see zero error for simulation directly i can give as what test the data type as a real i can use it but in a real time we can't do it so right now, you can able to mention this one in here itself. The variable you can mention it and you have to save it. So once you have saved now, we can able to use this one in our program. So like this, we have to configure the analog. So I hope you understood in ABB how to use the scaling function. Thank you.